Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for Thermal Web, and I'm sharing with you this snowy layout created using Flock. And I have used Flock three different ways here. I have just simply die cut it, debossed it with a die cut plate, and also transferred it with um, Duo. So I am going to construct the layout first, uh, and then you will see the application of the flock later in the back half of the layout, whereas normally I use the technique in the beginning. However, I don't want to flatten the flock as I run it through the laminator, um, and I also uh, don't want to... Uh, I don't want the thicker embellishments that I'm going to use to get flattened by the laminator or either. Um, so there are going to be three columns. Um, each of the columns is nine and a half inches tall, and then they are two and five eighths wide. Um, and so the idea is that I'm going to use three photos in each column and each in a different place. Um, and again, this just adds some visual interest to the layout. So the colors for this uh, layout are a little bit different. Um, they are not your typical snow colors, um, but that is largely because that piece of paper that I'm working with right there with the snowflakes on it um, by Photoplay Paper, that is, that's what I've chosen for the color palette. Um, so you've got that lovely mustardy yellow and some greens and some teals or aquas, depending on what you want to call them, and then that red. And I love the way that they punctuate the red scarf that Mia is wearing. So this is the first way that I am going to use flock. So I have this um, plate from Freckle Fawn and no, Lawn Fawn. I always get Freckle Fawn and Lawn Fawn. It's terrible mixed up. Um, so this is Lawn Fawn and I am going to put the flock down into the plate and that is going to deboss the flock, which leaves a very subtle imprint of the snowflakes into it. Um, so that is the first and very easy way of applying flock uh, to the page. It adds some texture, which is really cool, but there's also pattern. Um, and then because of the color, it pulls at what would be a very simple layout and puts a lot of color into it um, by using the different coordinating colors. So I'm gonna cut that down to fit into that column at the top there because this particular photo is going to be um, slightly askew from the one to the right of it. And again, it, it, it's kind of a visual triangle in a way. Um, I did not perfectly cut that particular piece, but I am not worried by it because it, you. With the white borders around the photos, you can't really tell that that is not perfect. Um, and I am not perfect. So that goes along with, you know, that goes along with things. Um, so I have mixed here white and cream. Um, I am using ivory. This is actually from Cartabella cardstock um, as the background. But I liked the way that the ivory really popped the white. Um, so now I'm going to show you the third way of, uh, third, I'm sorry, I can't count today. The second way um, is I want to use that stencil, also from Cartabella, to transfer flock directly onto the page. I had thought maybe I might do a little bit over the photo as well, um, but I decide against that only because I wasn't sure how the gel and the photo were going to mesh. Um, so now, I know that that's what I want to do, but I want to finish cutting off these um, columns so that I know where things are going to go and then really truly figure out the placement of where I'm going to use this stencil. So that is a 2 by 5 eighths by 2 by 5 eighths um, square. Uh, it did not cut as a square, so I have to trim it down to a square. Um, and it's just coincidence that it happens to be a square that is going to fit in there. And that is where I will house the title. But again, you can see how I've pulled all of the colors from that multicolored piece of patterned paper, which lays my color foundation. So this is the stencil. This is from um, Christmas Market. And I'm going to use just a palette knife to apply the adhesive. Um, or at the transfer gel, actually, it's the Duo transfer gel. And what is beautiful about the Duo is you can either run it through a hot laminator or you can run it through a um, die cut machine, a manual die cut machine, and the pressure itself transfers either the foil or the flock. Um, 
I am using it for the flock and I am also going to run this actually through a hot laminator because I am working with a 12 by 12 piece of paper. So this was the third way um, that I am going to use my flock. Um, super simple dead easy, you're just going to run it through a die cut machine. Now, I have two ways of applying my die cuts. So what I should have done here was used my easy cut adhesive. Um, so you take a sheet of the adhesive and you literally just stick it to the back of the flock and then run it through and then all you have to do is peel off the protective layer. I forgot to do that. So instead, I'm going to use my sticky dots. So I literally put the side that I want down to the page into the sticky dots and then pull it up. But because it's an intricate die, um, I do have to be a little bit more careful about how I pull it up so that I don't rip it um, because it is super adhesive and I don't want it to stick. So this is where my duo has dried. I don't want any of those other flocked pieces on the page because I don't want to flatten that flock. So I'm putting my flock side down into my dry clear duo. That is the thing about duo is you do have to, any of the transfer gels, you have to be patient and you have to wait for it to dry. Otherwise it does become this blob um, <laughs> if it doesn't set to the right consistency. So you'll see that that happens in the top left hand corner, but I'm not worried about it because I can cover it up and also snow is not perfect. And so I didn't need the perfect coverage because I also had enough of the flakes that were perfectly covered. So you can see that white side, there's the flock itself. And then when you pull it away, ta-da, you get a nice flocky snowflake. So you can see where I do have the blobby bits, but literally I'm just running, rubbing pressure of my fingernail um, down into it. I could have used a, a palette knife or something else. Um, and there are the snowflakes. Don't they look fantastic? Like the snow is actually falling into the layout. I love the contrast of that red flock um, and then also the uh, Tuscan gold there in the top left. So I feel like I need a little bit more red in the layout. Um, I also want to add a, just a little bit of sparkle into the falling flakes up there in the top right. So I have some, uh, this is, these are sequence pieces. These are also from Lawn Fawn. These are really, really old. I am doing some serious stash bashing uh, lately. Just, I have so much stuff and just trying to get it used up. So I'm figuring out the placement of where I want these things to be, and then I am going to use my Zots Bling. What I love about the Bling is it comes on a roll, and so literally all I have to do is put my uh, sequence into the roll, and then, like I'm doing now, and then peel it off. I don't have to have these little clear pieces like in the Zots bags, the individuals. I always end up finding them uh, a week later, two weeks later when I vacuum. Um, so I like that this is uh, just a little easier on the post-use garbage. So I want to sprinkle a few of these sequences around the page too to integrate it to give a more cohesive look. Um, so I am actually going to use two of these bigger snowflakes as you can see those sort of those more iridescent blue ones um, and then I'm also going to pull one of those white ones down into that bottom right there. Now I want that ready pink, that ruby red flock, um, as well as a little bit more of that light blue that I've got at the top right. And so I will literally just die cut those um, from other snowflakes. But I am trying to get a little bit more sparkle into the layout um, because snow to me is not just the softness of the flock, but it's also the sparkle of um, foil, really. Um, but I really wanted to keep the focus texture-wise on the flock, so I'm not going to pull foil into this. So this is where I remember my easy cut adhesive. Um, I really need to just stick it with my die cut machine so that when I'm die cutting things, I don't have to worry about adhesive. So I'm going to cut a square of the easy cut adhesive, put it behind the flock just like that. Um, so I've got the sticky side into the white backing of the flock. Um, and then that way, when I pull the die off, I've just got the backing that makes that then makes that flocked piece a sticker per se. So um, same exact same way that I did that big Tim Holtz thinlet snowflake. 
except that um, I am working with an Echo Park die, or it's a Cartabella die, and I find that they always need an extra shim um, to them, but I forget that until I use them, and I, uh, so I running them through for I think a third or fourth time um, so see I just pull off the backing and voila it's a sticker isn't that awesome and um, so that is going to add the little bit of shot of red to that top left corner then I am going to do the same with I love that light blue on that Tuscan gold so those three colors really pull the layout together and just wrap everything up nicely and then um, to finish with, I am going to use these stickers from, this is Freckled Fawn, um, and I'm going to just put the title in there that says Snow Beautiful. Uh, and that, my friends, is going to wrap it up. So flock three ways for a snow layout, die cut, debossed, and transferred through a stencil using Duo Gel. Um, I, the Duo Gel is just, it, it's awesome. It dries a whole lot faster than the old transfer gel, and um, you can apply it two ways. Because I do scrapbook pages, I like to do it with heat, um, but the fact that you can rub it, especially if you don't get enough heat, um, is perfect. So these are the close-ups. Enjoy the close-ups. If you have any questions about anything that I've done or how I've used the flock, please don't hesitate to leave them in the comment box down below. Thanks for stopping in today. I hope you're doing well. Come back again soon. Take care.